Hello YouTube, I'm going to be doing a review and comparison on the Bear Grylls Ultimate Survival Knife and its predecessor. So um, I'm just going to set this aside for now. So this is the Bear Grylls Ultimate Survival Knife. It's the most recent edition they have. It's black and orange, Bear Grylls color. It's made by Gerber. I took the whistle off, so I'm not going to really be saying much about the whistle. It's got Bear Grylls signature here, Gerber, Bear Grylls Gerber. Gerber symbol right here. It's got flint and steel, and it actually makes pretty good sparks. Put that here. For, actually, I'll just put it back in. Okay, let's take it out of the knife. It's got Velcro here instead of a button, which I respect. Um, your fire symbol here, which tells you to strike the flint and steel there, not on the blade, which honestly I've been doing. So, I mean, it makes decent sparks. I mean, nothing special about that. Um, so, the knife here, it's got your hand, standard handle. It shows you that it's full tang very clearly. It's got the blade and then through the handle. And then a nice hammer back here. I mean, maybe not ideal. But it's there. Your loop for a whistle right here. And um, and two holes here for putting us putting it on a spear. Um, it's got you know serial number. I don't know if you can see that. Um, you can take the grips off of this. I haven't done that, so I'm not going to do it now. But I'm going to show you. It's got your Bear Grylls priorities of survival, and uh, I'm not going to get into that. I'll probably tell you about that in another video um, so it's got a nice nice rubber feel to it same with the handle um, higher quality steel than its predecessor uh, belt loop uh, two uh, screws right here that hold in the part that puts it on your belt and keeps it there a uh, more modern sharpener than its predecessor um, nice hard plastic it's it's just a great knife I mean it keep this it really sharpens it good you can keep your knife sharp for you know if you're going on a hike or skinning an animal or whatever the case may be this is a really a real well rounded knife I mean it's got everything you need I mean this could replace a, a small hatchet if you really I mean it's got everything Good steel, solid, yeah. All right, so now I'm gonna put this in the sheath. I'm gonna take out the Bear Grylls Ultimate Survival Knife, the older version. Now it's a little bit different. It doesn't have the screws here. It's got, it's held in by Velcro, so you can, you can take it off if you want to completely. I'm not gonna do that but I'll show you there's this is the sharpener you gotta know a little bit about sharpening knives before you can effectively use this unlike this one where it's pretty straightforward you just you know run the knife through it um, so I mean that might be a flaw for some people you have your flint and steel here I'll show you comparison it's a little bit bigger I have this zip tie because uh, the new one, it's pretty uh, tough to get out at first, so I just put an orange zip tie around there to keep the Bear Grylls colors going. Uh, you know, it's got right here, it's got your uh, spear, you know, you can lash it to a spear. It's got the holes for that, same back here. It's supposed to be a whistle here. I think the whistles are stupid, so I took them off. Uh, on the, you can see on the inside, this is metal, and on the old one, there's no metal in there. It's just plastic. It shows you very clearly on the new one that it's full tang. I told you that. Old one is serrated. I'm pretty sure you can get it unserrated, but I I, I didn't get it. I got the serrated version for the old one and non-serrated for the new one. You can see I 
this one is well used. Um, apologize for that. You can barely even see the Gerber label right here. Um, yeah, so they're great knives, really. I mean, it's you got your Bear Girls Ultimate Survival Priorities of Survival guide here. Um, yeah, it's all straightforward. There's some more belt loops here. You got a few extra. For this, you only have the one. But I don't really mind that. It's, I mean, it's got a great feel to it. They both feel the same. The new one feels a little bit heavier, which I kind of like because it just got got it's got a more solid feel. The old one, I don't know about the steel. I haven't really looked into it, but I've heard that it's a lower quality steel, so I'm gonna go with that. Um, seems like the the case on the old one. It's just like when you put it in, if you have both of them, I mean, it just feels more solid when you put this one in than this one. Um, just a few minor differences, honestly. The signature is up, the signature is up here. It's down here in this one. There's no Gerber get label uh, clearly shown. Uh, but they're both great knives, and I've used them both a lot. I've been using this one more recently obviously because it's newer and I've been doing a lot of testing with it and it's it's just a great knife. I mean seriously if you're thinking about getting it or you're confused between which one of the two to get just just go out and get this one. It's you know it's the best knife you can have. It's got a nice little finger hold here if you're doing some detailed work like say skinning an animal this one it doesn't have that um, just some minor differences I mean there's really nothing hugely different better steel you can take the grips off of this one I'm pretty sure because there's you got these screws here um, this one you can't it's just sealed in but honestly if you're thinking about getting a Bear Grylls knife or just just get it seriously it's the it's a great knife it'll be on your side all the time it'll never fail you unless you fail it like sharpening it you gotta keep it sharpened as with everything um, yeah it's really I mean this one's upside down this one's right side up they're great knives honestly if I had to choose between the two it would obviously be this one I like the black instead of the gray it's just a more you know it's got some more contrast to it um, yeah, and this one just stays so much sharper. It's a great knife. Put this away. It's got some Velcro. Same deal with this one. I mean, if you really look at it, there's there's no difference. I mean, this one sort of narrows sort of narrows down uh, towards the end. This one does too. Um, yeah, Gerber, I mean, I have always liked Gerber more than any other brand, um, because I, they've just never failed me, they haven't. So yeah, Bear Grylls, Ultimate Survival Knives, get them if you're thinking about it, and as always, thank you for watching.